This is September the 8th, 2010, and my name is Dr. John Stewart. I want to demonstrate the assembly of the ionization unit for making bulk industrial quantities of colloidal silver. The first item is the canister chamber, the charging chamber, with six cylinders, uh, four on that side and, and two on this side, with an outlet tap, allows you to drain the chamber, and uh, inlet tap, where the water starts at the bottom and goes up so that the, any air bubbles can, can be allowed to be removed from the outlet from the outlet tap. This could be mounted on the wall but you would need to use offsets because of the requirement to uh, take, remove the electrodes. So <clears throat> This also comes with a transparent lid that allows you to see the electrodes and now the transparent lid fits on tightly it's supposed to be waterproof uh, and it has a gasket or an elastomeric rubber gasket here all the way around I, I, I wouldn't rely on this totally which is why I supply this plumber's cement a rubberized cement to augment and reinforce the ceiling you don't want any leaks to come so put put plenty of that on, smear it over the surface before you screw it down with these uh, plastic screws that go in, that they just turn it, turn it around and this s s slides in that and then that screws into the into the, the chamber or canister. Each of the ports takes a pair of a, a long silver electrodes. These are two inches by 14 inches long. Uh, and it has a little rubber bumper here to prevent the two electrodes from shorting. You know, with the turbulence of water, you don't want them to short together. And be, be careful with the silver. This is a soft form of silver rather than a hardened annealed form. The reason being that it will release the silver atoms more easily. The, the, each pair is connected up to a cable which has a plug that plug plugs into each of the, out, the outlets, the electrical outlets from the control box. And since there's going to be about 90 volts across here, plus and minus, um, I furnished a protective cap so that no one can say they got a shock, uh, an electrical shock from, from the ends of the cap. Now these silver electrodes screw into the quick connect, quick disconnect adapter which allows you uh, rarely ever have to thread or unthread. This plastic is very vulnerable and sensitive to damage. So you know, examine it carefully, make sure there are no uh, there's no damage on the threads, there are no particles preventing it, and then this will open up in two seconds. You can remove the electrode or, or uh, replace or clean uh, without having to touch these vulnerable threads. And before you screw in any uh, threaded plastic or metal, you've got to put a Teflon-based lubricant. Now the manufacturer recommends this lubricant which they make and sell goes along with all of the plumbing they recommend not to use the the old good old-fashioned Teflon tape that most plumbers use anyway uh, but if you put plenty of this on both sides you, you, you you'll get a good seal and the, this the, these screw into the uh, input ports the cylinders for charging now this cement is Teflon based and is uh, specifically designed for this purpose. The, the plumber's goop or glue uh, I provide also. Uh, the tap at the bottom is plastic, no metal parts inside. And I also sometimes provide a flow meter which allows you to indicate the, the, the flow rate of the water. And. Uh, Finally, this is the control box that, with a plastic uh, door, window door, and uh, the bottom are the electrical outlets, all six electrical outlets into which the each pair plug. Uh, 
like that, all six. And then you can control the power going into all six. Because of this size, you wouldn't want to go more than about 60 milliamps, and that's indicated on the meter here. It can go up to about 120 to test, and you can test the integrity using the little light bulb that I provide uh, to make sure that each channel is actually working. So if I turn that down, the light goes out, turn it up full to maximum, that little light uh, comes on. And then if you want to look and monitor the amount of current on one channel at a time, you select that channel. The, the blue light will indicate that the integrity of the electrodes, that there is actually current flowing through each electrode pair. The green lights alternate every five minutes. That way you get a self-cleaning effect on the electrodes. Sometimes there's a buildup of oxide particles on the electrodes. So the alternating polarity it makes uh, one positive and negative, and then five minutes later, negative, positive. So that way you get a self-cleaning, alternating polarity option. Um, with regard to these, uh, uh, with regard to these quick connect, they have little rings. Two of the rings I've removed because t two of them are so closely mounted together that it's difficult to screw them in. The rings get in the way so that's just a little reminder when you're screwing you can assemble this all in about five minutes so it's fairly straightforward